All right, guys, we are back for another adult online martial art and fitness for a functional martial art and calisthenic fitness class. We're in between classes here, so bear with us. You can pause and warm up if you have to. Let's just jump right into it today. And then we'll end with a chamber. So let's just warm up. A little freestyle here. Just circle, pivot, counter with rear foot. All right, and begin. Remember, I'm moving rear foot primarily. Stay moving, pick up an item, two step forward, duck walk back, looks easy, just wait. All right, I'm gonna go off camera here, that's fine. Take your item, be nice, because I had to do this last class, like 10 minutes with the students, so I'm a little burnt out. Down, you pick it up, start with one sprinter foot, okay, start right. Couple quick steps forward, duck walk back, and down, pick it up, left, don't drop it on your foot, that would be bad, boom, up, down, and quick, duck walk back, down, down, other side, get used to each foot starting, down, Woo. gets hard, it's a difficult one, down, quick, that away. All right. Let's see here. Oh, sorry, donkeys. Donkeys. You can do fingertips. You can go ahead and hold. All right. So, however many fingers. All right. Try thumbs for now. Keep it easy. Go ahead. You can do one leg or two leg. Control the leg. Control the waist. Stable. Switch. Elbows to the side, side, one, rake, strike, side, defense, street stance, normal, one, rake, get their guard out of the way, one, two, don't do that in tournament, obviously, all right, let's go. Try to come up, break down, strike. Come, come up, break down, strike. Up, down, strike. All right. Duck walk. 
Uh, shoulder press overhead. All right. You can do together in unison, one at a time, like piston style. Hold. Try not to lean. Enough of that. No way. That is a lot harder than it looks. Good job. Chest flies. Hold out, we can do it in horse stance, or modified horse stance, whatever. If it gets too difficult, just bend your arms. You can't keep straight arm. And just cheat and bend. Chest out, chin up, legs bent, knees bent, locked. easier than it is. All right, from here, oh, good boy, tiger claw. Tiger claw hold, your push-up stance. Just do the best you can. You can cheat on your knees if you have to. If you're beginning, fingers sprawled. So, like from here, so if you can see it here, like that. If you're ready, you can do it like this. I personally, don't like making finger dents in these mats. It drives me crazy. So I will use a mat. No dents in the dojo. All right. Let's try it. Oh. If you feel like you have the ability to try to do a few. Twist the waist, squish the bug, all that. Neutral stance. Switch. Well, oh, neutral stance. Again. One last one. Now, the chamber of the day, the wall, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna just practice. Eagle spreads wings like this and like this. You're not gonna hit it. It's dynamic force. Stand to the side of the wall. Shoot your hands like out, like this. Come up to it. And you're gonna go ahead and you're going to push off like you're trying to push both ways, but the wall will obviously move you one way. Just like that. You can also practice it wrist down or forearm down. Try to get a part of the wall that you won't knock something off. It's not so much a strike. It's supposed to be more a plyometric push. So hopefully that comes through. And 
Another way. Application, getting things out of the way. Always I favor this way, forearm down, right? And so that's where a lot of circular stuff comes in. That motion, or Fa Jing, Fa Jing, the idea of explosive energy in short distance. That's one way to do it. All right. Wow, that's good. Do a few reps of all those. Have fun. See you next time, guys.